The campaign manager was responding to claims by communications director of the PNP team, Lisa Hanna, who said reports have come to her that envelopes containing $10,000 have been issued to delegates in an attempt to influence their votes in Saturday's presidential elections. Um, we are not engaged in any transactions for votes. Uh, so if we, as I said before, we go into the communities, we do the house to house. And um, if we are at a house and somebody says they need a lunch, we're going to give them. It's not like we can go on the road without money, you know? not only in this internal election, not when we're campaigning otherwise, or even when we're not campaigning. If the general election runs today and I'm going on the road the day after, I still have to have money in my pocket. Because when you read somewhere, somebody's going to explain to you that they cannot afford to send the child to school tomorrow. Somebody's going to explain to you that the school shows um, is no longer fit for purpose. Somebody's going to explain to you that they have some chicken in the coop and they don't have feed, whatever it is. Some, somebody's going to give you a medical uh, request that they have to do a CT scan or to do whatever. They're going to require some level of assistance. So Dr. Campbell contended that anyone saying otherwise is not telling the truth. Take the internal politics out of it. Just walking around in your constituency on a day-to-day -day basis. If anybody in Jamaica stands up and say that they can do that with zero dollars, they're lying. It cannot happen, right? If you come to politics like that and you're walking around, you must have some form of resources when you go there. Janae Williams, Frontline News.